Hi there, my name is Jonathan Yates, uh, author of the recently published book The Real Way Round, which details uh, my personal trip and experience um, riding my Yamaha Tenere around the globe. It was a one year trip past 35 countries and uh, had loads and loads of different experiences, all captured in this uh, hardback book, which um, I'm getting lots of positive feedback on Amazon and friends etc about the final book and uh, it has a planning section in the beginning and then it goes through each country giving it a rating, um, details, individual challenges in those countries, um, the highlights of those countries, uh, details each one, um, any uh, certain nuances in each country and then concludes at the end with an epilogue detailing uh, you know, my personal thoughts about the trip. Uh, looking inside at a few things, this picture is from Argentina, this one's from Indonesia, just going through I'll draw out a few sections. There's a map of the route in the inside cover, um, which is easy to look at, you can see the main route there now. So riding across um, here, all the way into China, down into Indonesia, Australia, flew it across to Argentina and then rode up to Canada and back. So that's um, 42,000 miles riding one year. Um, just got a few things to show you on the inside of the book here. Um, this is the um, planning section. So there's um, tables here of um, sort of medical tables, all the um, injections you'll need to do before you go into a trip like this. And then these are the kit lists which you can use. Um, details of the Carnet de Passage, the bike's passport and the stamps on it. So all the way through the book, there's scans of the interesting paperwork. Um, if you find it interesting, but it's a, you know it's a necessary evil on a trip like this, and if you get bogged down, it can take a while. So hopefully this section is really useful. Um, just flicking through to show you some of the other chapters. Um, quickly flick through here. Kazakhstan, for example. Each chapter has a um, section, so it has dates in country, number of days, population, area, currency entry and exit points, total distance, average miles per day, accommodation, food value and a rating out of 10. So I gave Kazakhstan a 9 out of 10, fabulous people, some testing riding and fantastic rough camping. The scenery there was amazing and um, the villages were fantastic as well and the sense of remoteness as you went through the country was just incredible. Um, here there's more pictures of food, so I did quite a few shots of different food. The book's got kind of themes. Uh, lots of different transport. So this isn't my motorbike here. This is one of the locals that I was looking at. So and uh, viewing. So that's a consistent theme as you go through. A couple more just to give you a, a double page pretty here for Kyrgyzstan. Yurts, great local people. Mountain scenery and snow when there was some altitude. Um, a couple more. I find that are quite interesting. Um, this is Malaysia, so this shows you how to ship the bag. Um, this was going from Penang over to uh, Indonesia, so that's there as well, and the, the actual process of the bag getting shipped. Okay, and that is the th general theme as you go all the way through the book. Um, the first page of each country details a table of my view of the country, and then as you go through, there's text and commentary and uh, more and more pictures of the country. So again, this is Indonesia, and um, this is the uh, examples of their biking um, of things there. So the different bikes out there that they use. So locally um, modified Yamahas with wicker baskets for transporting goods, etc. Uh, the amount of different uh, transport you see in these countries like China, which is a unique aspect of the book. Not many people have ridden through China. So there's a month's riding of China, and what I saw and then the last few pages um, finish through the USA and uh, Canada and then there's uh, a good double page spread there of um, some of the people I met along the way some portraits of all the faces that I saw so um, hopefully you think that's interesting hope so um, there's a lot in there it's a lot of value for money um, over 700 pictures guidelines to doing the trip route planning and um, heaps of other information. Okay, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the overview of the book, um, The Real Way Round, and found it a useful uh, short presentation. 
Um, would I recommend a trip to people? Yes, of course, would I had an amazing time, saw some uh, brilliant scenery, met some great people, and generally just had uh, uh, an amazing experience in so many different ways. It's difficult to explain in the, on this short video. So I suggest you buy the book. It's a great reference tool for people planning to go around the world, um, whether you're on a bike or you're simply overlanding or traveling by whatever means. Um, you'll find the planning section useful you'll find the hopefully the photos inspirational and some of my experiences you'll be able to learn from as I did from others as I traveled um, so hopefully you can buy a book um, get organized don't over plan don't overspend uh, money on kit just set off soon the world is changing you know and you need to go as quickly as you can and just enjoy it um, I'd love to do a second lap soon so hopefully I'll see you on the road at some point and uh, we'll be able to chat about the book together thank you